So what if it kills 99.9% .9 of all bacteria? That sounds pretty good, but do you know what else it's killing? What's up, people? Thanks for tuning into DNews today. I'm Trace, and the Food and Drug Administration here in the U.S. is deciding if a drug called triclosan is dangerous. The substance is used in everything from clothing to kitchen utensils, cosmetics, body washes, even toothpaste and toys. You might not think of it as such, but antibacterial soap is considered an over-the-counter drug, mainly because of the active ingredient, triclosan. Triclosan has been around since the 1960s and was originally used in hospitals to stem bacterial growth before surgery. In the 90s, fueled by an anti-germ fear, it began to show up in soaps and other household items. Heck, you can even find it in clothing and furniture. The thing is, there's some evidence, and let me be really clear, there's not enough to form solid conclusions, but there is some evidence so far to indicate that this antibacterial substance might be harmful to humans. Triclosan has been shown to cause hormonal changes, endocrine and immune system problems, and even sterility in other animals. Not to mention the continued and flippant use of antibiotics is creating stronger bacteria. Super bugs, dude. Scary. So how, if it has the potential to be bad for us, did this drug get into everything? Congress only passed laws requiring the inspection of ingredients in the early 70s, and this drug was already in broad use. So they're just getting around to it now based on pressure from consumer groups and a few studies that were released exploring the drug's impact. It's taken decades for the FDA and the EPA to decide if this drug that we're using is even safe. When an animal comes in contact with triclosan, it is absorbed right through the skin. So if you use antibacterial soaps or instant sanitizers that aren't alcohol-based, you're exposing yourself to a dose of triclosan. Now the FDA is thinking of banning the substance for human use entirely, and the implications of that are crazy. Triclosan is part of a $1 billion a year cleaning and manufacturing industry. It's not just side effects from exposure we should be worried about, but the creation of super bacteria. If you kill 99.9% .9 of all bacteria, the 1% that survives is super strong, and it replicates, and then the weaker generation of that second one are killed off by more antibacterials, and then that 0.1% lives, and that generation is even stronger than the last one, and you do that again and again and again, super bugs. <laughs> And that doesn't sound like a good thing, does it? In response to all the hubbub, a number of hospitals and cleaning companies have already removed triclosan in advance of a possible consumer backlash. What other crazy things are we exposed to every day that aren't tested and proven safe? We are not exactly sure. The FDA was created to regulate food and drugs. So even though things like cosmetics and clothing contain parabens and other untested and undisclosed chemicals, the FDA has no authority to regulate those ingredients. People get all excited about antibacterial ingredients for a very simple reason, fear of germs. But the CDC says washing your hands with regular soap for 20 seconds will kill just as many germs as these chemicals. Not to mention, germ exposure is kind of part of a natural and robust immune system development. My mom let me eat dirt all the time. Well, I did it behind her back, but you know, I turned out okay. In the future, are you going to be wary of the things that say antibacterial, or will you keep using them until the government releases their results on these chemicals? Tell us all about it. Thanks a lot for watching, and check us out on Twitter and Facebook as well. Make sure you subscribe for two episodes of D News a day, every single day of the week. I'm Trace. Thanks a lot. See you later.